it's 11 15 p.m i've just edited the vlog it's taking two hours to upload it so i thought you know what the golden gate bridge lights up at night and it's got viewpoints that open 24 hours a day like the one i've been to so i'm gonna i want to go back to the viewpoint i've been to where the bus stopped i want to go back there and watch the bridge at night for a couple of minutes then come back so i've ordered an uber for that so yeah th this is where this vlog starts and then we'll start the new day also in this vlog Looks uh, magnificent, I tell you. Oh, you got to zoom in a certain amount for the lighting to uh, count on the camera. It does look bright from pictures, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying it's bad. It looks good. It's just that there's more lighting there than there, and I feel like that's not normally the case. <laughs> then again, I'm never here, so how, do, how would I know? This is my first time seeing it at night. It was intended as a short trip. I don't want to piss off any of the driver, but then again, like he is getting paid, and I will tip him extra for this <laughs> you can't see me but there it is we've done it i'll take one more selfie in front of his car and then we'll go kind of scary to be honest even though this place is open i'm literally the only one here it's me and the uber driver so it's like ah uh, you never know there could be someone hiding in the bushes <laughs> 35 minutes there and back just nice and swift we were not alone by the way there was a cop car there i think it was like a sheriff car i, 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 I didn't see anyone in there but I'm, I'm pretty sure there was someone in there so technically went alone i guess there was someone just on patrol i guess but uh yeah and th that was nice and smooth and then tomorrow i mean actually it's today's vlog yeah let me this is the plan i want to wake up early enough because this place does not necessarily have st luggage storage i need to ask the manager in the morning so he could say no so I'm thinking, because I want to ride a tram, the Powell Hyde line, apparently that's the best one. I might want I might want to do that one, or there's one walking distance from here that's easier to get to. And I know where it is, but also, even though it's good, and that's why I want to do a tram ride, maybe I want to do the best one, best one possible. I don't know, we'll see. Um, and also, I want to see the bridge one more time from the other viewpoint. So yeah battery it's called battery something all the iconic ones you see from the movies that one i, I, I want to go to that one so uh yeah those are the two things they're not going to take that long really um but yeah i can either get up really early and go and do them come back and check out 11 a.m or i can uh, <laughs> i don't know but either way when this vlog ends we will be in los angeles and we'll be in our hotel that will be for the rest of the trip Hopefully it's a good uh, room that I get because I'll be there from, for a long time compared to the previous two hotels. I'm staying at Francisco Bay Inn, that's literally what it's called. Um, there's a road on Lombard full of hotels. There's even a travel lodge like across. Um, but yeah, I'm staying at Francisco Bay Inn. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's not a high rated hotel, but it's like, it's a simple motel. It gives you what you need. Gives, gives me all and all I really could ask for anyway, so uh, it works really well. That's a nice view as well. There's a nice scenic drive. You've got to drive around the mountains and back around here. It's a one-way system, uh, which is really interesting. But it's a nice scenic drive to get here. Driver decided to try and take a shortcut, but it's a one-way system. Um, I appreciate the effort though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I tipped him a good amount. I tipped him like only about eight dollars less than the actual fare. <laughs> I tipped him twenty dollars, and it cost twenty-eight to get it. <laughs> Viewpoint is up there. <laughs> there's another viewpoint called Hawk Hill and there's also there's also like a bench like a few a few um, yards away but I think this is enough I mean I heard Hawk Hill is amazing but like 
this is the one I want to see, you know. <laughs> this is the one I really want to see. Place is 24 hours, right? I don't want to come here at night. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. It's kind of scary. It's not scary now, but I mean, like, at night time it would be. <laughs> at least for me, anyway. Davidoff's going on a hike, you know. It's, it's a short hike, but it's a hike. <laughs> I've listened to Rota Shaw. Yeah. This. <laughs> it's amazing. Quite popular, well known place, but there's barely anyone here. So that's a big plus. It's been, this place has not had the best weather, <laughs> but the fact it's not raining, that's a big, big plus because it's raining a lot in California recently and like, even the sea seems quite calm. It's still windy though, it's still windy. No, we can't change that part. Let's look at it. You're not supposed to go there by the way. It's closed today. Um, I'm not breaking any laws. I'm a tourist. I'm good. In my selfies, but uh, we need a thumbnail. I think that works. There we go. That's the thumbnail. Nice. What's with all the pad padlocks anyway? I don't have one. I, I, I should have brought a padlock. Look. All these padlocks. I could leave my mark here and I can't even do it. Not for the thumbnail, but uh, you know, the whole view is just, so it's under my eyes, the whole view is just, you know, spectacular. Like, what, what more could you want, really? I've always wanted to see this landmark and now I've seen it. Oh, I am so glad that flight was cancelled last year now because I didn't think of doing this. I literally thought, oh, I'm, I'm going to be in San Fan for a day. I'm going to come here, take a boat cruise and then walk across the bridge, which I'm not doing now, but um, um, that's the one thing I'm not doing actually. But uh, you know what, it's fine, I can pass on that. But I was going to do that. But this, this is so much better. <laughs> it's, it's so much better. Well, the boat cruise was worth it. That was a good boat cruise. This is partly for Instagram. I like to video and photo while videoing because uh, it's good. Widescreen photos are good as long as you capture it right and it works really well in the daytime. So that's why I sometimes do a panoramic view because I take screenshots on the way. Oh uh, yes, get that sunlight in. Don't look directly at it guys, <laughs> even though I put it in your face. The nice data signal here as well so I can order my next Uber. It's actually quite warm now. I thought it'd be quite windy up here and it was for a little bit. I'm feeling heat. I'm feeling actual heat. Yes, I know that's the sun, but the sun's been out the last few days. I've not felt the heat. I'm actually feeling it now and it's like 8 in the morning. What's going on? So we can get an Uber, but he's, he's here in 10 minutes. They're probably all thinking, wait, we're going to come up all the way up this hill? Well, that can't be arse, mates. Well, d this guy said yes, so you'll get tipped. Last look at this magnificent masterpiece. I may never come here again, so I've got to relish every second of it. There's so much more of the USA I want to explore. But this, I'm glad I saw this, you know. <laughs> Some things in life, you just, life's too short. Life is too short, man. If you if you got the money, travel. <laughs> I mean, obviously you got to get a home, start a family, you got to do all that stuff as well. But also, especially when you're in your 20s, travel. <laughs> Definitely travel. I can't get over how, maybe because maybe we're just high up, but it looks so calm. On the Alcatraz boat, the boat was swaying left and right constantly. <laughs> Down there, he doesn't understand. He's got a boat. Uh, he doesn't. I don't think he wants to go around. I think he's making excuses. I'm gonna walk down to him. Oh my days! <laughs> uh, and this blunder, that was amazing. And there's barely anyone there. There's like when I got up there, there's like six people. Most of them left. It was me and just one guy for a little while. And then you know a couple people joined afterwards. So it's like I came at such a quiet time. I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. My, and it's it's sunny. It's not as cold as I thought it would be. It's not raining when it was raining here for the past week before I got here. And when I got here, oh my word. <laughs> I have been very fortunate. I have been very fortunate. <laughs> I chose the right day to come up to the top of here. That's for sure. You know what? As far as hikes go, this is a, a scenic one. The footpath stopped. I was worrying and then the road is just there. <laughs> where they turn it around. Reminds me of Thomas the Tank Engine when I was a kid. <laughs> it's actually a cable car. There's two different types. There's a tram and a cable car, but this is a cable car. I, it, to me, it's a tram, all right? To me, it's a tram.
definitely took some selfies while that was happening. Oh yes, you need to purchase a ticket on board. Hopefully you to take card. If I had a bit of time, I'd go to botanical botanical gardens as well, but I chose not to. But pretty much every everything I wanted to do, Alcatraz, Golden Gate, multiple times, and the tram. It's a cable car, I know, but I'm calling it a tram. Um, it's all good. San Francisco has ticked off the list completely. So did you know that San Francisco is the second hilliest city in the world? I didn't know that. So the first one, I can't remember where it is. I think it's in South America. I think it's in South America. But um, this is the second most hilliest place in the world. That explains why I was so tired. <laughs> um, I am unfit to be fair, but like going up those hills, I knew they were steep. The second most steepest in the world? Didn't realize that. All right, that's my excuse for getting tired yesterday. <laughs> 
the entire place is downhill or uphill. And speaking of uphill, that's where the Lions are going. They've just beaten Melbourne. That's a flag contender they've just beaten. Brisbane Lions themselves are a flag contender. I think they're both being the eight coming into the season. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're both in the top four. But yeah, there's a massive win. Melbourne will be there. They will be there. They're, they are a contender. The Lions have beaten them. That's a statement, my friends. After losing the first game, that's a great way to respond. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below. The bus stops half a mile away from my hotel. So convenient. Hurry up though, check out time is 11 a.m. It's 11.17. I've never been late for checkout. Never, ever, ever. Should be all right, hopefully. I don't warn them though. I, I did see them last night. I said like, can I leave my suitcase at the lobby? They said, you've got to wait for the manager in the morning. I'm just like, yeah, but the manager wasn't there in the morning when I left. So what do I do? It says vacancy there. So like, if the room's available, then surely I won't be in trouble. This is it, a proper classic Motel America. This is the American Motel. Motel America? <laughs> what am I doing? The streets are right out there. My room's through here. Has a lift. So yeah, they do have luggage storage. They keep your luggage for you. Um, Five dollars. Not free, but five dollars is not bad. Um, I'm gonna go to the pier slash beach area and just chill over there. No vlogging really. Um, just wanna go there and relax. Um, maybe go back to a couple of souvenir shops, see what, see if anything, uh, anything catches my eye that I haven't bought yet. But um, yeah, I guess we'll just, you know, I'm gonna relax, but we're gonna skip to the airport. And I, I guess, you know what, straight to the plane. I flew Alaska Airlines to San Francisco. Uh, my return flight is with JetBlue. I booked it as one return flight, but yeah, Expedia gave me Alaska Airlines to here and then JetBlue back to LA, so uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. asleep most of the flight but that's an impressive airline like it has free wi-fi which is not a thing in other airlines and domestically in america um it has live tv a plane with live tv i've never seen that before in my life like what and also there were screens like what sort of one hour flight has screens jet blue that's what jet blue then next time i've traveled to america i'm gonna look into jet blue because they know what they're doing, they know what's up. And they know what's up. Delayed 40 minutes though. I feel like every pain I've taken in the last year or so has been delayed for some reason. I don't know why. It's just, maybe it's just my, my fortune. 10, 20 p.m. Let me get my suitcase, get an Uber. I think it's like 45 minutes to the hotel. Um, Uber I think will cost like $80. Still confused why the taxi driver the other day tried to charge me $40 to go five minutes when it's 80 for 45. Weird. Just can't wait to get to the hotel and fall asleep. I'm so tired. And luckily, tomorrow's adventure starts in the afternoon, not in the morning. I still want to get up fairly early because I want to stick to the routine of getting up in the morning because I got to be up early Monday to the rest of the holiday, really. So, uh, yeah, the weekend I'm a bit starting a bit later, but every other day I want to wake up early to do my adventures. So, uh, yeah. I want to sleep more tomorrow, but also still wake up early, if that makes sense. Just not at 6am like I have been the last three days. So, uh, San Fran Airport is really nice places next to the gates. Really nice places to sit down, relax. They've got plug points, USB points, so 
I got the vlog edited there. I just sat on a desk, edited the vlog. Um, so I just got to add these airline clips on and then the vlog is done. I can come home, get the vlog done quickly and hopefully go to bed quickly, so. That's where every Uber driver drives a Toyota. Literally every Uber driver I've seen in the US drives a Toyota. It's a popular company, <laughs> UK as well and Australia and all over the world really, and even in Africa, but still like Uber, specifically Uber, like every Uber is a Toyota. Just discovering this. This works perfectly, I think. <laughs> that bed is bigger than I expected it to be. Nice big desk here. There you go, you've got a nice, I think there's a fridge freezer. And then you've got quite a spacious toilet. So yeah, I'll definitely take this TV that I'll probably never use. <laughs> Good night.